Alrighty then, so, uh, the Cyclops Savatavas Fimshel Kura has come, and we shall start off this episode by smiting him with the power of our squads. Now, unfortunately, since the last episode, I did try to do some recording, but I lost that footage. Um, so, I'll just sum it up. Uh, if we just go to the squad menu, we can, we can see we have a couple of new squads. These are the basements, the gears of memory, the guns wax go to the military you can see what these are we have one whip squad or a lasher squad uh, sports dwarves and a pick squad so uh, currently none of those are trained up yet though I do imagine the miners would be pretty good since there are the legendary skilled with their picks um, I think for this one we're just going to send out the uh, axe dwarf squad so okay attack uh, let's look from a list. Should be able to find them pretty simply here. Uh, not you. It's going to be a Cyclops. This guy. Gilsevetas, uh, I believe that's correct. Yep. And let's see what uh, what goes down when they come. All right. We can see he is uh, moving a little bit. Not sure where he's heading to. Probably some poor wildlife. Um, dwarves should be here in a couple seconds to just take care of the big uh, boot. Um, even one of those dwarves should be able to take on this guy. Um, titans, forgotten beasts, mega beasts like this. Titan typically don't really pose much of a threat anymore. That's a goat they're chasing after. Fortunate it had to die, but uh, we'll get revenge on it in short order. Alright then. Seems to be hugging the top of the map here. Don't quite know why. Um, you can see some of the corpses left behind from uh, other battles, but they're definitely more centered on the right side of the map. Um, but there are a few out here. You know, these things kind of uh, tend to stack up over time. I don't know where those dwarves are at, but I imagine they must be closing in on this guy quite soon. In fact, this guy might be passing towards one right now. Oh, there's one right down there. and Ooh, that's the new guy. Not sure what that lord's doing right there, but I have a feeling that poor axe dwarf, okay, might not die, but yeah, I think he got injured a little bit, that uh, new axe dwarf. Uh, unfortunate. Um, but it was killed in quite a short order, so I guess we didn't have much to worry about. Now let's get back to what I was doing. Um, when I lost the footage in the last episode, I was just uh, smashing up the armor for the squads. We should have enough for uh, all of them. I've already gotten one set done. Uh, working on the next set, and then I'm going to finish up the last one. Another thing we did is I made this mist generator. So while they're training, they can get showered in mist, which really helps with their mood. Uh, they're a lot happier when they're by a waterfall. Um, so hopefully we won't get as many depressed dwarves. The Forgotten Beast, Tozer Rexas, has come, a great hairy newt. It has a broad shell under this delivering, its sky blue hair is patchy. Beware its noxious secretions. Considering this is a newt, I don't think it's going to be that dangerous, uh, but also I think it's not going to be able to get to us. Um, I'll just watch it, let's see what it does. See if it goes towards the base, but I somehow doubt it. In fact, I think it's probably going to disappear. Um, but I do kind of want to just see what it's going to do. It does seem to be stuck down in this small area down here. So I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, it's just gone off. Of course, you can see our whole area down here is right here, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we're locked off from this cavern layer. So. That Forgotten Beast is not coming through there. Uh, so yeah, just minor thing. Nothing to be worried about though, I guess. So, yeah. Minor update here, we got a few Minecrants. Um, 
I'm trying how many we'll get. Get the doctor here. We're gonna pause until they all come through. Looks like it was a couple of peasants, a couple of doctors, and a carpenter. Uh, five people, not too bad overall. Uh, just tops up our population back to 185, which is not so bad. Still, we're gonna gain that armor done though. And by then, the military will be fully geared up. Alright, then, well, all the armor is completely built up, so we can activate the last squad. Well, what should be these guys? Our uh, Sword Dwarf squad. Now, then, we have approximately, let's see, let's take a look here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's 70 dwarves in the military. I think approximately about 30 legendary ones. Really strong force. I'm going to start sending them out right now. Uh, first off, we're going to go to the missions. I already have a couple here. Uh, let's see. What is Malice? Malice Romances, I believe. It's going to be 100 people. Um, what I'm also going to do is I'm also going to make a or send some people. Specifically, the Spear Dwarf Squad on that one. It's got 20 people on it. That will be a nice little... Um, breaking in for them. And I'm just going to send the herb smokers to deal with the 100 one. Uh, next up is, let's see, I want to send out the hammer dwarf squad out on one too. So let's send them to this side. Uh, the idea here is we'll have the herb smokers as our main strike force. And then we'll send the other two squads to clean up any survivors. Uh, so let's make this a raise mission and send out the Fury Standards. And we'll have the rest of the squads do defend the fort. So that's the plan there, and we'll see how it goes. Alright, then in the first one, we have this one, which they attacked Malice from us, yada yada. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The elf was struck down by the dwarf, the goblin struck by the dwarf, elf by a dwarf. A dog was injured, a goblin was killed by a dwarf, a goblin by a dwarf, there's an elf here, no. pretty uneventful really. Our next report is on channel dungeon, Let's see, pretty, oops, there we go, and not that much going on here, a lot of dust, let's start from the top, okay, a goblin by a dwarf, goblin by a dwarf, goblin Dwarf, uh -huh. goblin by a dwarf, a big dog by a dwarf, a goblin by a dwarf, a goblin by a dwarf, a goblin by a dwarf, goblin by a dwarf, goblin by a dwarf. Okay. Uh, gleamed hex is next. Let's see here, goblin by a dwarf, 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 goblin by a dwarf. dwarf. Alright, so it doesn't seem like anyone here was injured except for that one dog. Um, nice for that. Let's see what we got. We got a bunch of big dogs, a pick, interesting, uh, goblins, and something else. A uh, lead bar is a table, a gold throne, that's actually probably the best thing we've gotten from these raids. We also have a big dog here. Uh, let's see, we got a couple big dogs here. Bags, whatever, garbage, those will be good for butchering. Um, yeah. Now, now, you know, making the armor for these guys was kind of labor intensive. The make a lot of coke. Uh, that takes labor, then smelting all, you know, really resource intensive. But I've been thinking a lot of the other, other fortresses use magma to power their fortress. So I'm thinking if we dig deep enough, we might be able to find some magma to power our fortress with. Um, surprising was how old this fort is. We never have continued down this central mine shaft past the third cavern layer. So I think it's time we start doing that now. Um, see, we come down here. We got a little lake down here. Keep on going down. It's getting a bit hotter. Hotter. Heat. Oh, looks like we got some lava down here. What's this? Adamantine? Perhaps we should have one of the miners investigate that. Well, it's for the next episode. In the meantime, 
instead of chasing after strange blue mystery ore, I think we ought to send some more dwarves out to raid these goblin settlements. Um, just same, same old story as last time. Let's see if I can find a hundred fun. Nah, this is all pretty weak. Okay, we'll send. Uh, okay, we already got one on that one, so we'll just send uh, the herb smokers on that. Uh, let's go back to civilization. Let's see what's here at that's Terra Buff. Okay, missions. Yeah, let's uh, sign those guys on that one. Uh, we need one more mission though. Uh, so I think we'll take a small one. It will be where the uh, spherical dwarves go. Uh, just keep some beetles raised outside, and we'll send the penguins on that. But back to this. You know, all this magma would be great for making some magma smelting forges. Uh, we have some area, we got a big area down here, so it is going to take a little while to dig out though, so probably do something like this. A big problem with lava and even water is you're right over it, it gives that flashing, so they're going to be canceling these jobs like crazy. Um, I think for now though, the other thing I'm going to do is just cover up this floor here, we already know the lava's there, no need for it to stay. Make sure no magma craps come out. All those things I've been floating around here. Oh, that's a fire snake. Um, but yeah, just dig out this area and we can use it as a uh, forge area. Make sure it's a divisible by 3. Yeah, it's a 12 by 12. So should give us about 16 forges or smelters. And, uh, that'll be great. We no longer will have to rely on coke, which is pretty labor intensive. We gotta make a lot of it. And you know, we gotta find it supply of coke. Now instead we can just use this stuff. What I've been thinking though, we could probably still use coke for smelting ores since ores are pretty heavy and we can keep all the milk production stuff down here. Uh, but yeah, this blue ore here, no idea. Seems to go all the way down to whatever this red rock here is. Uh, yeah, I can't wait to see what that is. But uh, yeah, maybe maybe we should just um, you know just to avoid the cancellation of being on magma. I'm going to oh is that no oh, cancellation of water? Well, I'd rather be magma than water. If I'm being honest, you we'll just dig right on over there. Uh, there, perfect. And we'll investigate what that is. But you know what? I'm just going to end the episode here and um. When I see you in the next episode, hopefully we'll get more reports from the military dwarves, get these magma forges on the way to be setting up, and we'll uh, see what this adamantine uh, is all about. Maybe what it is. Um, yeah, so hope you enjoyed the episode. If you want a dwarf named after you, just message me on Discord or um, comment it in the comments below. Remember to subscribe and leave a like, but with all that being said, hope you enjoyed the video and goodbye.